I think he's in the third world cup. I'm not gonna lie, I might just call it quits after RDL. Holy shit. <laughs> this is an pussy bro. Just finished up a brutal leg day, uh, second leg day ever on this channel, so should be exciting. This it's been a video that's been long awaited. I get DMs like every day about asking for leg days, and here it is, man. So if you guys could just do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, just hit all the buttons really that help push me out into the algorithm. I truly appreciate it. So yeah, long awaited video. Hope you guys learned something from this, and yeah, enjoy. Bro, let me throw up a picture of my cross country days, bro. Those days were fucking abysmal. I'm Ready? Like, Three, two, one. Bing, bing. There you go. Alright, Owen's gonna hit legs with me today, but he's my designated camera. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Is that your whole meal? Yeah. This? Dude, I feel like this is enough. I ate 5,000 calories last night. I actually... Okay, how many, how many calories was in this? 800? Bro, I that was already 800, and this is like 2,800. <laughs> Bro's just behind me talking to himself. And right here, he's about to cook me up. So. Yeah, here's your pre workout meal. Ready? <laughs> Two things are hot Cheeto. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. Get it, get it downward nice. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro got it his knee. Alright, a little whoa. up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little up. <laughs> a little up. A little up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, like, maybe, like, I'm not gonna crouch for you. Yeah, maybe like half squat. <laughs> no. As you guys saw, I literally ate, I think, 5,000 calories last night. It probably would have. It probably was more too, cause it's probably more. I ate some candy. All it is is just feel for today's leg day. So this is the first meal of the day. It's literally like, bro, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> it's the first meal going down. It's my pre-workout. So I got Greek yogurt. Uh, Granola, this is the most deadly bulking combo known to man. I'm not even bulking, but you know, my mind is literally playing tricks on me. Eight, five thousand calories. Now I'm about to start the bulk, you know. I have one bad misstep in my in my physique and I'm just like, okay. Time to go to a bulk. Should we bulk? That's a terrible mindset. Bro, I need to stop. Haven't posted a uh I po <laughs> Bro, why are you so high up? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna squat for you. I recorded a leg day back home. Shit didn't go out very well. Uh, my SD card literally burned out, but we have a 500 gig new one. So, shouldn't be any problems with filming today unless my battery fucking dies. But, not worried about that until it happens. We're gonna finish this. Bro. Oh, hell no. We're gonna finish this and then uh, drink our pre. So, bro, I don't want to hit legs. Also, let's go hit some fucking legs. This guy doesn't even squat. All right, I don't want to hear. All right, so now stance. I want to hit more of the outer sweep. Yeah. All right. Mhm. Mm <gasps> Boom. Getting depth right to the gluteus maximum. <laughs> oh yeah. The Holy Trinity. Yeah. Bro thinks he's in the third world card. Cody, you want all your stuff? Hey, pick him right off the ground. Oh. I'm using your protein powder too. Ew. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you probably did not enjoy the taste of that. All right, you want these three? <laughs> Let's talk legs now, actually. Yeah, anyways, uh, for today we got two and a half scoops of Wrecked, uh, five pump pills, and then the unflavored creatine, and that's been my pre-workout stack for, I think, two months now. Anything on huge supplements, use code you, give you 10% off, so. Yeah, let's talk legs now. My leg training. 
Here's the thing, I don't really hit legs that often because I feel like my legs respond really well to training. When I was training my legs, I think two times every week for like two years straight, the aesthetics just weren't there. You wanna have a balanced physique, right? And if you know your strengths are one muscle group, you don't want that to overshadow everything else. So in order to have a completer look, like in order to bring up my upper body, I actually had to make my legs smaller. I know that sounds weird, but the smaller your legs look, the more, the larger your upper body is gonna inherently look. And that's like a completely different other topic. But I just wanted to say that I respond very well to training. So you guys haven't really seen my leg days. Uh, I tend to keep them like, tend to keep them really locked in because I wanna get the work done, you know? I squat really heavy all my, all my leg days and today's gonna be the first day where I'm actually filming but usually I like to stay in the moment. I like to feel the pain, especially with legs, because legs is the one thing I really do not like to hit. Like if there's any muscle group where I, I feel like this like nauseous pit in my stomach every time I hit, it'd be legs. So I'm not really looking forward to you guys seeing me in that state. Cause usually when I want to film, it's, it's less awkward if I'm not dying, right? Like in all my videos, I'm moderately like able to talk when I lift, but for the legs, man, I get so delirious and out of it when I hit them. It's up a little Oh bit. my. Barbell squat really just hits every part of your leg besides the calves. Well, calves are another thing. I literally don't hit calves ever. My calves are shit. <laughs> Should do one of those memes where like, you're holding my hand like. <laughs> Hey, yo, well, I got that on camera. Oh. That's crazy. Oh my god. So, I just failed my eighth rep. 
sorry. So trying to catch my breath. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna do another working set of this, honestly. I'm so exhausted right now. Never pushed the failure on a squat. That shit was kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie, but probably gonna drop down to three plates, maybe 365. See how many working sets I can do with that, but always gonna try to stick in the uh, eight to 12 rep range, no matter what exercise I'm doing. So just for safety, I'm gonna drop down and then see if I can hit probably 365 for eight and then 315 for eight to 12. Just finished squatting. Uh, did three working sets, one with 405, one with 365, and then a burnout with with 315. And I'm uh, I'm one exercise deep, and I already want to stop. So this is why I don't like hitting legs, because I push my sets all to absolute failure. And it's rough, man. Legs is a big muscle group, so. Bro, fuck this, I'm not hack squatting. These, right here, hard body lifting straps, or any lifting straps in general, honestly, are the best gym investment you can make. Uh, in order to negate your forearms and your grip out of the equation and make sure that your primary muscle group is actually getting targeted to failure, you have to wear straps. So for RDLs right now, just to make sure that my grip doesn't give out before my uh, hamstrings, some of you guys might not know how to use straps, so let me teach you real quick. Oh shit. All right, so when you're over the bar like this, you always wanna use your straps like a hook. So you will hook them under the bar, right, like so, and then you twist them, bring this flap around again, creating another hook, and then by that point, you're so locked in that even if your grip gives out, you'll still be on the bar, so. Invest in some lifting straps for real. It'll probably be the best investment you'll make. It's hard body lifting straps created by Brandon Harding at 5BB Pro. Code U. Save you 10% on the website. I'm on my own.
not gonna lie, I might just call it quits after RDLs. Anyways, gym is fucking packed right now. I don't know, I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but I just finished my first working set of RDLs, and my back is literally about to explode. So we'll see how much more I can tough it out. That's just how it goes, you know. You run out of stamina. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't push your body to the. Hold on. Pause. Don't push your body to the brink of like getting an injury because that's never worth it. I just feel like I'm very, very exhausted. My CNS is already fried, so. Average like that. Just finished my third. All right. Uh, just finished both my compound movements. I hit a barbell squat and RDLs. I didn't do hack squats because my hips are just not feeling it, man. So now that we're done with the compounds, we're gonna move on to isolation movements. So leg extensions and leg curls, and then we'll do calves. And yeah, we're good. This is, is worth 90k a year. This is worth. Oh my god. This is literally the worst fucking leg extension. I can't do <laughs> The one upstairs is broken, so we have to use this janked ass one. Bro, just hit the set. Stop being so optimal. I can't hear you. you want, but when I'm getting close to failure, come in. This is unreal, bro. Just camped up on the on the Bro. Section. I feel like this I feel like this machine's good. No. I swear to God. I feel like I can push pretty effectively to failure. Ego lift, because you're not getting full stretch. Ego lift? Yeah. How am I ego lifting? No, I'm just saying you can't get a full hey, stretch. Hey, hey. Oh. How is this an ego? Because you're not even going 90 to have All right, whose quads are bigger? Who knows, actually. Who yeah, knows is crazy. Don't. You know the answer to that, that one. We'll we pull out the fucking measuring stick right now. Pause. I never seen. Why are you my remedy? <laughs> Holy shit. What's happening to you? You can't be in there. I don't know <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, first set down, two more to go. Oh, I fucking hate legs, bro. Oh, damn. This guy's fucking eyeballs about to pop out. <laughs> Thanks. All quads, you put on like eight. Bro, what just you fucking just, just, just do this. Push off with your Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. What do you mean that's not happening, bro? Get out and try this. Get out. Look, that's too much. That's actually too much. Cause you're putting this is so optimal, bro. Because you can get the full stretch. Oh, you can get the full you stretch. You don't even understand what I'm doing. So Whose calves are bigger? 
Mine are. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold up. Come in. My toes are pointed in. And <laughs> what this does <laughs> is it targets this part of the calf. You know, I, can't, I don't know if that's bro science or not, but it feels better. Bro, can we just stop hitting legs? <laughs> that's an pussy, bro. Bro, I'm about to tear this up. All right, pro tip for real though. When you hit calves, hold them at the bottom because your calf muscles get stimulated the most in the length of position. That's actually not bro science, by the way. I heard that from TNF. TNF out. So quick. Let's Here. see. Let's okay, see. Put the camera on. Let's see. Dude, stop playing. Give, give him a little. Yeah. How oh no! Let me flex. Let me flex. Dude, no. Let me give him. Bro, what are we doing right now? <laughs> Yo, we are so badly. <laughs> this is the new way. We need some lighting. Oh, dude looks like a dad now. All right, lock in. Let's see him, let's see him. That shit was catabolic Let's see, let's fun. see. Catab kind of a weakling. All right, I give up. Said I was gonna do all this shit. I locked out, bro. I'm literally not gonna hit legs anymore. I think they were, I think, I think they received adequate stimulus for today, to be honest. We're just gonna hit abs. I'm gonna go pose and then, yeah, probably see you guys at home for the outro. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Holy shit. A side quest. What do you know? Scum Lounge. Do you know I anything? I only know how to play Fur Elise, but it's bad. I literally knew how to play all this shit and then forgot all of it. Oh! Alright, let's pull up the Fur Elise sheet music, shall we? I'm hey. literally a one-trick pony now. I literally don't know how to play. Oh my god. Bro, I fucking suck. Oh, shit, can I get in trouble for this? This is what like Dude, the video. This is what we need. Yeah. Like. Oh my, what the fuck? Dude. Hey, turn that bitch on. Should I? Dude, there's a key right here. I can't turn shit on. <laughs> like, imagine going to class. There would not be a boss in there. What is, what is, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this is the best thing on campus. Raw fish, shrimp, seaweed salad, rice. Oh my god. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh. Totaled that shit. Even though we didn't finish all the exercises, uh, we kind of locked out at the end of the at the end of the leg day. Like, that's just what happens, man. When you when you destroy your body, like your body can only take so much. And I feel like the threshold for my body when I push myself to failure, like you guys saw in this video, I can only really do like three or four exercises. So I feel like we adequately did what we came to do. We still hit a very complete leg day. We hit barbell squats, which gets everything, but targets the quads if you do them right. I do them with low bar, so I get more glute and hamstring activation. But then we went to uh, Smith Machine RDLs for the hamstrings, and then we went into isolation work. So, so leg extensions and seated leg curls finished off with those. It's first time showing my legs actually, so I, I don't know how you guys feel about those. But when I used to really, really train them, they just look so out of proportion. But right now, I like the way they look. So I'm gonna keep it at that. My strength is peaking right now, all time high. Literally hit 405 for seven and a half. I've only hit it for six before. So moral of the story. 
this is what I came to talk about. You gotta train hard, man. There, there, there's a point where your mind is your biggest, your mind is your biggest spearhead towards success. The amount of pain like in the gym that you can endure will directly correlate to the amount of progress you get. So if you train your brain to have a high pain tolerance and actually immerse yourself in that experience of breaking down your body, I feel like you're gonna do a much better job with growing in generals. I force my mind to like the idea of breaking down my body. I like the feeling now. So I can't stop knowing that I have more in the tank. When you, when you create a mindset to where you won't stop until you absolutely feel like your body is breaking down, Obviously know your limits, by the way. You can't, don't bulge a disc and be out of the gym for like a year, a year and a half. That's astronomically stupid. But push your body to the point where you feel safe, but your muscles are absolutely breaking down. A good rule of thumb to gauge how hard you should go is if your ligaments or tendons start hurting, stop the movement immediately. But if it's only your muscles that are getting really stretched and torn and you feel that, then you need to keep on going. You need to chase that feeling of hurt because that's what's eventually gonna propel your mindset to go to the next level and train even harder to get more progress. So, yeah, like Rich Piano said, the more you put in, the more you fucking get out. It really isn't rocket science. I, you guys see all my lifts. I, I, I'm very transparent with how I lift on my YouTube. I think it's very raw, besides the NCS. But I like the NCS, it's, it's pretty nostalgic for me. Uh, anyways, enough of that tangent. Yeah, expect the work that you put in to be the rewards that you reap out. You can't put in a little amount of work and expect a large reward. That's like putting in a ticket for the lottery. You have to put in countless hours to actually re to actually like have a higher chance of reaping some other higher reward at the end. So it doesn't always mean that you're gonna get successful if you work really, 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 really hard but your chances go up so high that you have to take the risk. I guess that doesn't just correlate with the gym, but to life as well. You can you can use this on many different aspects of your life if you wanna just take control and progress in the way that you wanna progress. You're in control. Things in your life that are out of control, just observe and move on. They're meant to be there for you to learn and grow. So yeah, just focus on the things that you can change and that was it for me. Uh, second ever leg day on this channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> Super sick squat PR today. Push myself really hard on back squats. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It always helps me out. It puts me on the algorithm and gets my word out to other people. That was about it for the leg day. See you guys in the next one.